going out, but first a travel warning. And because of high winds across the region, drivers of high-sided vehicles are urged to take particular care. 24 hours a day! The news headlines and the report just published calls for urgent new measures to cut environmental pollution caused by vehicle exhausts. Oil refinery workers are to be balloted next week about industrial action over a pay claim. It's feared that any disruption of services could lead quickly to fuel shortages. City news and a sudden surge in US demand for fuel has put pressure on the Rotterdam oil market. As a result, the price of petrol and diesel is expected to rise within the week. No one in business needs to be told about the need for greater fuel efficiency. Rising costs, pressure for tighter pollution controls, concern over supplies are all part of a global predicament. Rigid box trucks have been a particular problem for decades, a problem that has frustrated fleet operators for years. Until today. With the firm support of the Department of Energy's Energy Efficiency Office, leading companies set out to tackle the complexities of aerodynamic design for the 17-ton box-bodied trucks. The target? to substantially reduce air resistance and to develop practical designs which are easily manufactured and fitted. Designs which quickly pay for themselves with considerable fuel savings. The design firm Ricardo AS&A &A, have been tackling such problems with sports cars for years. Using computer design and intricate scale model reconstructions, they turned their skill and experience to the box-bodied truck. The competition department of side of the sports cars is nowadays very fuel efficient. In other words, it's not like motor racing was in the old days, where you was the first one who passed the flag was the winner. Nowadays, you only have a certain amount of fuel to compete with the race, therefore it's a fuel efficient formula. And it was that know-how that we used from the sports cars allowed us to use the aerodynamics to the best advantage as far as the truck world is concerned. The wind tunnel played a very important role in the development of the vehicle because it was the first time that a real full study of a complete vehicle had taken place in a wind tunnel. For that we used a half-scale model for the accuracy that was required and we were able to then develop the panel shapes one at a time so as not to get interference between one panel and another resulting in a very smooth, final, complete truck. Uh, the parts are quick and easy to implement because basically they had to be designed as add-ons to the main box unit and had to adapt to suit different manufacturers' cab chassis units. The number of panels fitted need to be kept to the absolute minimum so as to increase the efficiency of the whole system. The finished design was immediately put to the test under a series of controlled conditions at the Leyland Daff Technical Centre. We monitored lots of things. Obviously key was the fuel consumption, but I must emphasise also that um, we are very aware that any changes of airflow through the product can have a detrimental effect on the cooling system of the engine and or the gearbox, and therefore it was vital to also at the same time check these. <laughs> Encouraged by the initial results, it was time to put the theory into real working practice, involving tough, everyday action. As operator of a 3,000-strong fleet of vehicles, Excel Logistics were ideal to run two aerodynamic prototypes for their busy Argus service. And sure enough, in identical trials against vehicles of conventional design, the exciting test results were confirmed. The bottom line being that an average increase in fuel economy of over 20% in MPG was recorded during in-service operation, with an average 50,000 miles a year. That's a true cost saving of over 1,200 pounds. That's 1,200 pounds every vehicle, every year.
Operators can recoup the cost of aerodynamic styling in an average of 19 months. But the real savings go on and on, allowing hauliers to reinvest by extending their fleets, to keep the best, most efficient drivers at the wheel, to keep ahead of the competition for mile after mile after mile. The aerodynamic vehicles were just used as part of the normal everyday fleet and were operated throughout all the delivery drops using all of the drivers at each of the locations. We couldn't have made it a more fair, more realistic operational test. The drivers were very enthusiastic. They were keener to drive the aerodynamic truck than the control vehicles that were also part of the trial. In fact, the results show that the aerodynamic vehicle was used far more often. So when the driver had a choice of which vehicle to drive, they drove the aerodynamic vehicle. The impact of significant reduction in exhaust emissions must also be considered a very real accomplishment. Reduced fuel consumption is a major practical way to reduce noxious emissions. Furthermore, aerodynamic styled trucks proved themselves more stable in crosswinds and also produced less road spray, adding road safety to its list of achievements. Achievements quickly recognized by those who know. Uh, we were pleased with our estimates because we achieved a lower drag factor than we expected to achieve right at the beginning. We were expecting to achieve 0.4 as the best, and in actual fact we went on down to 0.325. Here's something for all you trunk drivers out there. A new aerodynamic design for box-bodied vehicles, which could change the shape of your truck to come. The integrated approach um, is vital in ensuring that the project does have tangible benefits to the commercial vehicle industry generally. What's it all about? Well, earlier today I spoke to Graham Montgomery, Chief Mechanical Engineer of the FDA. If only 5% of the national fleet of rigid vehicles up to 24 tonnes were converted to this aerodynamic style, nearly 6 million gallons of dirt would be saved every year worth over £10 million. Pounds. The results certainly show that the investment's worth having. Uh, even with the cost of leasing pushed into the equation, there is still a very significant payback every year. Indeed, the lessons learned from the design are now being applied to articulated vehicles in a similar project. We at the FTA have been very impressed by these initial results, and with very moderate costs involved, it represents a major opportunity for all seen. All right! So? I've got held up on the station. What station? Aerodynamic styling for box-bodied trucks. Don't let the opportunity pass you by.